Hey folks, Bo Cephas here. Uh, just a little video about some thoughts on some things. A little uh, uh, news on my Let's Play videos and so on and so forth. But uh, I'd like to begin this video just to say, for a time I was content. I was content making my videos, Fallout 4, Starfield, Baldur's Gate 3, Valkyria Chronicles, some experimental videos every now and then. Some, mainly Kingdoms of Amular, I'll continue making in the future. I've got some episodes filmed, but they're not scheduled yet. I finished filming Act 1 and 2 for Baldur's Gate 3, and I'm in the middle of filming acting, Act 3, and getting uh, very close to finishing the game finally since <laughs> since it launched. Um, I'm a late comer to that, uh, slow finishing. Um, Fallout 4, Nora's Sim Settlement 2 adventures are ongoing. However, I do use over 300 mods and I'm anticipating the unconfirmed next gen update that is promised for drop in April and I am confident that it will probably completely break my save to a point I may have to start over hopefully I won't have to hopefully I can get away with uh, uh, removing some if they don't get updated or whatever but uh, we'll see what happens um, anyway though most of those are scheduled um, I've got the uh, Fallout 4 episode scheduled the first week of April. Uh, there's a lot of Baldur's Gate 3 episodes that's going to go a few months past April. Because I try and keep them no more than an hour and a half to at the most two hours long. Because I know those Let's Play get videos get long. But I do have my, my channel divided into playlists. So it's easy to come back to videos if you want to finish watching them. Uh, Starfield Universe 6 for Bocephus ends in March. Um, I'll be waiting for the DLC and the creation kit to drop to start any kind of new universe with him. Uh, and uh, uh, the Valkyria Chronicles, the final chapter, is also in March. And I don't have anything really to replace it yet. I've got some episodes of different games filmed, but not enough to really start scheduling them. So I don't know what I'm going to do after the last episode of Valkyria Chronicles yet. Before time, I was content. I was happy. I had my PlayStation 4 hooked up to my TV. One I had since the PlayStation 4 first launched. And yes, that exact console I've had it all these years. I've got a few PlayStation 4 games I play on occasion when I need a break from PC gaming. After all, after all we know uh, PC gamers are the master race. <laughs> so every now and then... Uh, I would I need to check out the slums and fire up my PlayStation 4. Fallout 4 will always be one of my most favorite games of all time. I have just under 5,000 hours in Fallout 4 and learned some modding. I have a Sim Settlement 2 plot when I'm still uh, that I'm still working on and several outfit conversions for the Fusion Girl body. I like using the Fusion Girl body. But uh, over, almost 5,000 hours in Fallout 4, and I've had the game since it launched. Uh, Starfield is creeping up there. Um, I've got uh, over 500 hours. Even though I do have some issues with Starfield right now. Baldur's Gate 3, I have over 500 hours. But I also have a few issues with Baldur's Gate 3 as well. In both games, there are some things that are forced into the games that didn't really need to be there. Things that made no sense narratively. And it was only there for, uh, you hear it all the time, the message, and that's it. I get so annoyed with that sometimes. I mean, uh, take Suicide Squad Kills of Justice League, for instance. They're in bed with Sweet Baby Inc., and once they got out from under the covers, boy, Rocksteady Rock discovered they had an incurable disease. Someone might say, 
uh, you know, well, it, it's people's jobs, livelihoods on the line, and so on and so forth. But all I can say to that, to that is they should have been more careful about who they got under the covers with. And at this point, maybe people need to lose their jobs as I wake up to the fact that gamers are rejecting that kind of bullshit like you see in Suicide Squad. And it's going to hurt any, any company embracing this kind of garbage right where it needs to in the pocketbook. It's getting to a point where I'd rather pl play 15 or 20 year old games or start switching my allegiances to Eastern games that reject the message. <laughs> Excuse me. But uh, for the time being, at least with Starfield and Baldur's Gate 3, a large portion of the message can be ignored or maneuvered around. Starfield, though, you cannot escape the ugly woman disease. It is there in full force, and it will take modders to put in systems to allow us to create good-looking female and male characters. Even male characters have been hit with the ugly bat in Starfield. I mean, it's just, it's ridiculous. Uh, their character creation makes it near impossible to make attractive characters. Some people may be able to do it, but not me. And most ones on videos I've seen on YouTube or other gamers playing and stuff like that, man, the characters just aren't good looking. And, and uh, the way the the body triangle is, it barely makes any difference other than fat or skinny. And uh, with the with the ladies, you know. It doesn't, the boobs stay the, the same size no matter what uh, spot you put that slider in or, or the butt stays the same flat unless it, you make it a fat character. And that shit's just getting old, man. It's getting so old. You know, and as much as I like Baldur's Gate 3 and Starfield... I can see the attempts of these active activists infiltrating. I really hope after the example of Suicide Squad kills the Justice League that they put the brakes on and start reversing course or they'll crash and burn like the others that embrace the message. But there's the Larry and CD Project Red, just the ones on, on top of my head. There are many other Western developers in bed with people like this. Uh, the DIE, gender identity politics, ESG, all that bullshit. Y'all need to, uh, you know, these devs and these companies need to wake up before uh, their companies are destroyed by these people. They just don't give a shit what happens to any of them. The devs, the companies, anything. Oh, to them, only the message matters. I'll go so far as to say it's a communist message. Part of what communists do is that they do not create. They take the things you love and destroy it to ensure your compliance. And that's what's going on. That's what's happening. And not just in gaming. It's happening in media. People tearing down statues. All that stuff. It's uh, They want your compliance. They want you to think like they do. They want you to get rid of your free thinking will and think like they do. Because if you don't think like they do, you are wrong, period. I mean, everybody has opinions, everybody has their beliefs, and they want to stamp your beliefs out, period. You either believe like they do or uh, you can disappear for all they care. Um, but with all that's going on, I have some concerns, you know, the the Witcher speculation and them remaking for modern audiences. Oh my God. I really hope that they just do not cut crap out. They just redo combat, make better graphics and stuff like that. Leave the story the way it is and the mechanics of the, the card system, the romancing, all that stuff. Just leave it the way it is. That's the way the original game was meant to be played. 
but uh, you know, I see some crash and burns in the future, and I'm more and I'm even worried about uh, you know the semi messaging in Starfield. You know, some of it can can be stepped around in Starfield and in Baldur's Gate three, but. Uh, as time progresses, I think it's just if they keep doing this, it's going to be hard. I mean, to ignore that stuff, and then you ain't going to want. Then the people aren't going to want to play their games, and that sucks because I love Bethesda games. Namely, you know, Fallout Four is one of my favorite of all time. Yeah, anyway, I'm kind of rambling on, but uh, you know, I'm really worried about the next gen update for Fallout Four. What are they going to do with it, especially with the things that have appeared in Starfield that I've run into in the 500 hours of playing and I, I'm really worried about what they're going to put in Fallout 4. Is this next gen update? Are they just going to be up in the graphics putting in some left out content that's still actually in the game left out quest or uh, you know stuff cut content that uh, modders have put in over the years or, or what they're going to be doing if they start adding new quests with messaging and gender identity and all that stuff, I mean, what are they going to do? I'm kind of I'm worried about that because if they turn my most favorite game of all time into a gender identity messaging thing, I will uninstall it. And so I really hope they don't. Larian, you know, I don't think they're fully woke. But there's some stuff in their game that is forced uh, that you have to go through to complete quests that is forced messaging. And uh, you can avoid a lot of it, but there are some things you just can't. And all it is is the message. That's it. And it's annoying. It's frustrating. And I hope these companies, I hope they take what's going on with the... Uh, Suicide Squad and learn from it and reevaluate what they're doing because if they don't, many of them will go the way of the dinosaurs. The gamers will speak and speak loudly with their wallets and they won't buy their stuff. And it will ruin their, their companies, ruin some beloved franchises, and they'll go under. I really hope, uh, and another company that I'm worried about is I really hope Bioware doesn't fall completely under the thrall of the, of the message too. But I have my worries with them as well. You know, they got some of my favorite games, Mass Effect, and yes, I did like Andromeda, although the character models really suck. But uh, Bioware games, you've never been able to make good looking characters with them either, so I hope... Uh, the next Mass Effect has a robust character generation system. And, uh, you know, they tell all them activists to screw off. We're going to let people create beautiful characters if they want to. Good looking ones. But with all that on my mind, I saw Stellar Blade. And, uh, you know, all of a sudden, I've upgraded my PlayStation 4 to a PlayStation 5. I got my PlayStation 5 today. I got it all set up, tested. I've made some video with it just to test to be sure I know what I'm doing, you know. Or to be sure at least I have an idea what to do because I plan on making Stellar Blade one of my Let's Play series. Um, all I can say curse you shift up curse you and thank you I hadn't planned on upgrading my PS4 for a while longer but it seems that shift up well at least until the game comes out and and we'll see for ourselves it appears that shift up stuck to their guns and sent a bird and fuck you to all those devs embracing the shit in the West and perhaps even Sony is turning around and seeing the crap that that crap doesn't sell and won't make them money. If Shift Up sticks to their guns, then you know, in my opinion, they'll become the unsung heroes of the gaming industry and fans. No pressure there, no pressure. But not only does the game look great and combat looks fun, it seems there's a good story behind it and a strong, beautiful lead female character whose attractive body is based and scanned scanned in from a real person 
So they do exist. These beautiful people do exist regardless of what the messengers have to say or what they think or what they want you to think. So I'll be keeping my eye on it. I'll be playing it day one. I actually am got suckered. Uh, you know, I was a sucker and pre-ordered it. So I, I got my PlayStation set up, ready to go. You know, I got some PlayStation 4 games. I'm glad it's uh, it's backwards compatible because I got about six games for my PlayStation 4 that I enjoy playing. But anyway, hopefully it lives up to its promises. And uh, at least for now, my hat's off to ship, shift up and what they're doing. And I hope many other companies, not just Eastern companies, but Western companies, Western devs, look to them for an example of what we want. But that's all I'm rambling on about today. That's all I felt like saying. Be good to each other. Take care of yourself. And I'll catch you next video.